We good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yo, what is good, world? It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King, the third. As always, I have my lovely co-hosts with the most by my side, Ms. Reese PC, the one and only. Hey, y'all. And we thank y'all for tuning in and turning up and sticking with us through these technical difficulties for another dope episode of This, That, and the Third, the lifestyle show that gives you life, literally. Now, uh, we're going to be we're going to be getting so in the best fashion we know how. And that's beginning with some new news for all y'all new news. We're going to try to get y'all out of here by 8 o'clock. So thank y'all for bearing with us. And keep in mind, we will be accepting brief parquet, brief call-ins. So if you have my phone number, you can call in and have your heard. And again, and as always, this and the third is sponsored by Maker's Mark. Shout out to everybody that is making their mark in their respective lanes and industries. So, Mr. Reese, what we got in new news for all these new news? Well, wait. Uh, Logan, who has no video? Uh, I see, I see you. So I, I don't know what what he's saying, but anyway, just uh, respond and let me know who you're talking about. Okay. Um. Okay. Have this shit. We gonna have to run through. So, what's going on in the news is God's house wants to open. Y'all pastors want to open the doors of the church again, and they don't care what this shelter in place thing is they don't care about none of that they are ready to get back into the house of the lord okay is it get back into the or get back rolling with tides and uh, air i mean logan you don't see neither one of us all right look we gotta just go we gotta just go oh he says it's cool now okay so is um, it they want to open back the doors of the church and they want to pour into their parishioners or are they low in, running low on rent and release payments? That's what everybody was saying. They want the, the tithes. Okay, so you had Willie Wilson and other pastors out there uh, protesting down at the Thompson Center today mm -hmm. um, de demanding that they're going to be open on Sunday for service. But what's the why? They're just saying people are that thirsty for the, the body of Christ? Or like, how are they justifying it? They're not. We we know what it is, right? Them tithes right. and offerings. But my thing is, go online. Don't you got PayPal? Don't you got Cash App? Cash App, man. Step into the bad side. Y'all got to step up to this 21st century finesse. And y'all been finessing y'all parishioners. Finesse them digitally. I, I actually go to certain churches that allow you to swipe. Have you been to church recently enough since credit cards have been out? Like, nigga, you can swipe at church now. I haven't been in church in years, and I wish I would go in church and swipe. Sorry, I'm just not, I'm not, mm -mm, it's too much for me. Yeah. I will commune with the Lord in my closet for free. Hey, wherever <laughs> we're more gathered, and I'm always with myself and I, so I have the Trinity with me at all times. Shout Man. out to Forsby, shout out to John Little, shout out to Summer, and shout out to, um, it was somebody else I just saw to join. Oh, Nabby, what up? Willie says, uh, pastors are like doctors and people and the people need them yeah okay wait willie wilson is on here no will <laughs> no um john little 20 oh john o. he I, said I, willie I, said john was the one i was talking about earlier so his wife is t-bird the one that we shot now to have an actual healthy fruitful marriage so they probably are being fed at a real church so let's get in the benefit of the doubt and say keep the faith littles well, no, he said that Willie said the pastors are like doctors and they and the people need them. Ah, this just in that nigga's mind. Um, damn, you just gave the mama stare of death, bro. Oh, I, I was trying to read something. He didn't clean, he's been cleaning up because he wants something. And I was trying to read what he's like. Did I do a good job, mama? Is this right, mama? <laughs> you like bad, mama? Right. Yeah. Um, Okay, so this is actually, I, I heard about this through Elle Wu, right? Because this is one of her friend's relatives. Mm -hmm. So this lady was being shot. Basically, she got shot in her home. Brianna Taylor was shot eight times in her home by a cop. Uh, March 13th in Louisville, Kentucky, the police just barged in her home, fired off 20 bullets, right? The boyfriend who was staying with her um, Kenneth Walker, he thought somebody was breaking in. So he fired his gun when they when he heard that, you know what I'm saying, somebody come through the door. Well, the person they was looking for had already been arrested 10 miles away. 
Like they had no warrant. They had no, no reason they, to believe that this person even lived there, but they barged in this lady's home and shot her up. She was in the bed, sleep, shot her up. And say her name. Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor, dog. How many of us know of Brianna Taylor? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's unfortunate that I feel like, I don't know if y'all can hear me. It's unfortunate in my opinion that um, we're in the middle of the end of days. And I thought if any silver lining would come out of this shit, it would be that um, maybe crime would go down and maybe police brutality would be perfect for the positive. And unfortunately, with what was brother name from last week? Ar Arbery? Armand Arbery. Armand Arbery. Armand Arbery and now Brianna Taylor? Yep. Uh, the, the saga continues Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. And that shit is one, sad as fuck. That shit is two, letting you know that I used to always have this um, notion that, man, the only thing that's going to stop racism is an alien invasion or something comparable to the end of the world where niggas just came together as humans and joined first forces in solidarity. And obviously that's not the case. Racism, racism is prevalent and pervasive. And uh, this shit has got to stop. But again, we got to ride out on these niggas in order to do something. And when I say we, I mean y'all, because I ain't going to do shit. But I did see that in the um, Ar Armand case, they did pull up to the crib people. And then we heard last week that they did get arrested. They did get charged. And to my understanding, there's still charges in, in custody. So I, we got justice prepared. Like when you say the well, day, you're talking about the police, right? Yes, but, but what's taking so long for them to charge the officers in this particular case, her murderers, right? Our officers, Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly, Brent Hankinson, Miles Cusgrove, they still have their jobs. They're still in the force. Um, I, yeah, this is like two months. Um, oh, this didn't happen recently? This happened March 13th. Come on, son. Why are we just now hearing about it? And I, I do understand this. I though. think one, because oh. of the Ahmad. Um, our very one, and so it's like, hey, y'all didn't hear about this one, right? Here go another one. But look, so they charged the boyfriend though with murder already. He, Her he, boy, he killed. I don't know if he killed anybody, attempted murder. So I don't think he killed anybody, but he obviously shot at the cops. But y'all barged in his house. He yeah, woke yeah. up in defense, like, who the hell is this? You know, like um, they didn't say, Indiana, police out of stand your ground state. It's Kentucky. Oh, I thought it was Indiana. Indiana. Louis, Louisville, Kentucky. Oh yeah, that's fucked up, man. Well, pray, pray for the deceased. Pray for the families. I was actually just watching. What up, Joe? My boy, uh, Jeff Rowe. What up, Sonny? I was just watching an update on CNN about the person whose property it was that I'm messing up his name, but Armand Arbery, Armand Arbery, um, was was supposedly trespassing on. He was like, man, I didn't report that shit. I don't know these niggas that took justice into their own hands. I'm, ah, dang, I said I was going to stop cussing because Callie's not here. Uh, I'm not with the stuff, and, you know, it is what it is. So it's like, man, racist. Callie know her daddy curse. Callie, you know your daddy curse, right? She did say, I said, I'm going I'm to do a curse-free show, and she said, but you fucking cuss all the time. Callie, stop cussing in my comments, please. I love you. So much. But look, <laughs> um, I, 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 I'm just saying that to say, the people whose property it was who should be the maddest about this su supposed trespassing, they're like, bro, I called no cops. I Because it wasn't shit in there. It wasn't nothing in there. It was a construction site, man. So it's bogus, and we got to ride out. But again, when I say we, I mean you all. <laughs> okay. Um. So, yeah, I mean, we could go into more COVID shit. I'm not going to talk about that. I would just say stay in, stay safe, right? Because Texas <laughs> is officially open in Texas rises of infections has you know has gone up and so that's what's going to happen everywhere if people decide to go out and start living as if nothing ever happened I've, I've seen statistics or at least heard because i don't read um about cases that have spiked since states have decided to open up and i think that's just a sign of things to come it's like at what cost do you want to be around people i understand um and I think we got to be careful with the terms we use. We're not social distancing. We're social creatures. So naturally, just like we need food, warmth, shelter, and security, we also need connections with others, deep, meaningful connections, hopefully. So we're social creatures by design. 
right? But we're doing physical distancing. So if you have virtual ways to connect and maintain relationships and check in with your people and be checked in on by your people, leverage those as opposed to, I got to be at the club. I got to be at the beach. I got to just be out and up underneath a motherfucker because you're going to not only negatively impact yourself, but impact others that cannot fight off this fatal disease. Fuck is you doing? Wake up. Well, and they did do a... um like a little um, example on the news. I, I think it was CNN. I'm not sure, but I might have been watching Vice. But they were showing how if you're in a restaurant, right, maybe of 10 people and everybody's spaced out six feet apart. Right. If somebody sneeze, cough, do anything, that shit is going to spread in that little room if there's not ventilation, like a good ventilation system. Right. So when I saw that, who would be going to eat in a freaking restaurant? You're asking for it. This is food to die for. Especially since you've been at home with your mask and you're washing your hands every five minutes. Now you want to come out into a world full of bacteria that you haven't been used to for the last two months. Like you just, it's just, it's just bad. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, and I'm, I think I'm so used to it and so kind of in my little bag um, as it is that I can ride this motherfucker out until 2021, if need be. I sure can. Rest but a very year. point up on TJ show. I, I see you, Nisha, in the comments with do you believe the numbers, though? Huh. Numbers lie. I fuck with Jay-Z talking about. Men, men lie, women lie, and you can skew numbers as well. Um, but I did see on TJ's show yesterday, shout out once again to TJ, he, uh, he had a guest on that was talking about how... Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's like, for example, think about, you talked about that restaurant piece. What about a plane, right? Niggas want to get back to traveling so much and shit like that. Nigga, a nigga sneezes on a plane, emergency landing required. You know what I'm saying? So we're that thirsty to get back to norm instead of embracing the fact that there's an inevitably going to be a new norm. And the point that was brought up on TJ's show is that people haven't spent enough time making their house or their dwelling a home so now they want to run from that situation because they don't feel comfortable and in their in their living space take time out shout out to the downing brothers that gave the suggestion on their show take time out to fix a room up fix your crib up nigga wash your baseboards take the garbage out before it gets full to the brim you know what i'm saying like make your house a home and enjoy being in that space because one you're going to be there for a while lori lightfoot not letting niggas out JB as well. And two, this is just a prime opportunity while the world is changing to change the world. Okay, well, well, how about some people just don't know how to be by themselves? They don't like themselves, and so they always have to be around other people to make themselves feel better. It is but awesome. whichever works, the, the awesome. point is, you all say. need to um, stay home. Yeah. Somebody said that's unrealistic. Chicago to LA. That's film. Susan. That's unrealistic. What's unrealistic? Making your house a home? You can make your apartment a home. I've seen niggas on Tent Row make homeless people make tents homes. It's possible, bro. Home is a state of mind. Home is where the heart is. Do you have a heart, my nigga? Go ahead. 